today's video, we're gonna show you the best waterfalls on Hawaii. We're gonna show you some waterfalls in Maui and some waterfalls in Oahu. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and let's get to the video. A lot of these hikes are quite rainy and quite muddy. So you might need a poncho, a rain jacket, and definitely some waterproof shoes. Or for this trip, I purchased some Chacos and they were quite amazing. The first hike you'll find is Manoa Falls Trail. This trail is located just outside Honolulu and it's about a 1.7 out and back trail. I would consider this trail very easy and can be done by anyone. There is slight elevation and once you get to the waterfall, take your time to enjoy it and soak it in. Unfortunately, you cannot swim on the pools in the waterfall, but you are treated by this absolutely gorgeous, stunning view of Oahu, Hawaii. Uh, one thing about this hike is that it is quite busy and for good reason. It's an absolutely beautiful trail and like I mentioned earlier, definitely bring a poncho and some waterproof shoes so that you can enjoy this hike. For our next hike, we'll take a small plane over to the island of Maui and we'll head up the infamous road to Hana. You'll find directions to all of these trails in the description below and make sure if you found this video helpful that you give us a like and subscribe. So Twin Falls is a 1.8 mile trail. It's a very, very easy trail, very, very flat. And before you actually make it to the falls, it's a beautiful, well-kept garden. You'll see bamboo, coconuts, and all sorts of tropical flowers. Like the name suggests, there are two falls at Twin Falls. Uh, there's the lower falls, which you can swim in. There's like a swimming hole. And also you can treat yourself to some rock jumping. And that's what we did here. And it was super fun. And just above the first falls is the second falls. There's no pools there, but it's still a beautiful sight to see. And it's usually a little bit less busy. So if you want to get away from everybody and just enjoy the waterfall, you can definitely do that there. During the waterfall hikes, I was accompanied by my good buddy Colin and his girlfriend Luciana and here they are taking their river crossing and that was not the easiest thing in the world but there are easier ways to get to the lower falls. I've been through there before and it's actually pretty cool and kind of high up. So 
if it's open when you go, it's definitely worth checking out. Next up, we have Waikamoi Falls. Correct me if I did not say that properly, I apologize. But you'll find this at mile marker 9.9. The route we're taking today will take you to the viewpoint to the upper falls. There are no swimming holes here, but if you take the lower falls, if you want to get into the water, that's where you'll be able to swim in the swimming holes. Luckily, we went midday and there was absolutely nobody on the trail. And it was beautiful just to experience the jungle to ourselves. Again, I'm here with my buddy Colin and his girlfriend Luciana, and we had a bunch of fun just kind of taking our time, enjoying the sights, enjoying the bamboo and all the jungle flora. Hiking through this really sick bamboo area. Ran into a little bit of a problem. The path has been destroyed by some falling bamboo. <laughs> so this is where the trail ends. So here's another waterfall hike. You'll park just before mile 21 and walk a bit. You'll see the entrance way and then this gate and you'll head through that gate and then you'll be seeing some sweet waterfalls. There's a short hike. It's pretty mellow and you'll see two waterfalls, one gigantic waterfall and then one higher falls. And if it has been raining recently, there's usually a swimming hole at the upper falls and it's absolutely worth it. The water is a little bit cold, but it's such a fun swim. The day we went, we actually found all sorts of wild tropical fruit. Uh, we decided not to pick it and just kind of respect the land. So make sure you do the same, respect the land, stay on the path and enjoy your time. Now we head back over to the island of Oahu where we go on one last waterfall hike. There were some complications during this hike. Uh, a hiker had gotten lost um, and there's also a lot of break-ins known to happen at this hike. So, so we decided to have one person watch the car while two of us went on the hike and then we switched off. So definitely a good hike to check out, but maybe it's a good idea to Uber there if you don't want your car getting broken into. There was broken glass everywhere and all sorts of warning signs to say not leave valuables in your car. So far this hike is super, super, super cool. As you guys can see at the very beginning of the hike and some of the reviews I read, they say that people's cars are gonna get broken into all the time. And since we have the rental van, 
I don't want anything to happen to it. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to complete this hike today, but we're gonna try to come back tomorrow. Colin, my buddy is there taking care of the van while we enjoy just a few minutes of this hike. But we're definitely gonna come back tomorrow and do the full thing. It's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is, as they say.